There are no medical forms. There are There's no medical report from a medical personnel pertaining this illness. We therefore cannot confirm or agree that he's unwell. He was also in uh, he has been remand and we need medical documents from the medical superintendent of the prison that he is unwell and they are not able. To handle his condition while in prison. for our submission, you must see that the, 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 the reason of medical, the grounds that the, the applicant has medical issues and cannot be in prison, not be used to, as a ground for in the you are a wild under the constitution bail guidelines for courts of judicature, practice directive direction 2022, paragraph 13 L. It's to the effect that uh, the applicant should have sufficient sureties within Uganda to undertake the applicant's reappearance in court when you want to the applicant here should present a three sureties. He presented three sureties during his application. That is Kakaira Wilson, Mikhail, Kaima Harrison, and Hassan Seth. On the date of the application, he was the prosecution made a prayer for time to verify the authenticity of the document presented by the sureties in order to to weigh their substantiality standard sureties. The investigating officer in this case, your worship, Detective Sergeant Mapuro Erika, was duly instructed to do the verification. Your worship, we filed an affidavit in opposition to bail. Deformed by the said investigating officer, your ship. The I will take this court directly to paragraph. Uh, six and eight of the said affidavit. Okay, okay. Well, graph six, your worship is in respect to the first surety, Kakaira Wilson. Who said to be a resident of uh, Ginger Missing Yourself in Goma Division, South Mkono District. Yoshi, the LC1 chairman of that area, 
Mimi wasanga Jonathan. Inform the investigating officer that the said Kakaire Wilson is not a resident of their area. She, however, knows him as a boyfriend to one of their residents, to the resident of that area. He also pointed out that he did not sign the introductory letter, but it was done by the, the general secretary. Besides uh, surety, your worship, is there for not substantial to stand for the accused person? As a sort of residence, not known. Basically, it's a visitor in the place where he purports to live. Paragraph 8, your worship, is in relation to the affidavit, is in relation to Faithful Hassan, who is the church number 3, allegedly a resident of Kamwani Zone, Nakawa Division, Kampala City. You are the investigating officer. Also had an interaction with the LC1 chairperson of that area called Mutisi Hassan. Sorry, that, 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 sorry for that. Uh, the LC1 chairman informed him that Sefu Hassan is a tenant on the premises of Mutisi Hassan. Mutisi Hassan, the landlord of, of Sefu, was contacted. Yeah, the landlord was Sefu Hassan. He informed the chairperson and the IO that Sefu is no longer a tenant on his houses. He shifted away from his houses to an unknown location and there are we do not know where he was driving at the moment. The LC1 chairman also distanced himself from the introductory letter that was uh, furnished to the Honorable Court. And he endorsed their alone as attached a in an extra A to it, the LC1 chairman endorsed their own and said he was recalling the said surety safe to his office to verify his residence. Yeah, the, the way the system of bail works in this country is that we as prosecution and, and, and police rely almost 100 percent on the LC1 chairperson's word regarding questions of abode, of sureties and accused persons. Therefore, when an LC chairperson distances himself from the residence of uh, anyone intending to rely on their documents, court should take that very seriously. Because if court does not take the LC's information seriously, it becomes difficult for us to trust these sureties and accused persons after they is granted. We also, under paragraph 9, verified the residence of the accused person. The LC1 chairman confirms he's a tenant in the area of jurisdiction. 
He lived alone. We didn't have enough time in worship to get any confirmation from his landlord. However, we take it that the LC1 chairman confirmed his residence. Your worship, because the applicant is a tenant, not a permanent resident, we are not saying it's a crime to be a tenant or to live alone. We are requesting in addition to the LC chairperson introductory letter, the applicant said he's a businessman, to press and request that the location of his business, either else the letter of where he's been, even Nakasero, wherever, Bruma Road, everywhere in Kampala, the LC, we request for business location, information so that we can have where to track him in the event that he shifts from his tenancy where he is. You watch it back to the bail, constitutional bail guidelines under paragraph 3, E and H. The objectives of these guidelines we highlighted, and among them, paragraph E and H specifically. Under E, the objectives of these guidelines, one of them, is to promote the balancing of rights of accused persons with the public interest and the rights of complainants. Paragraph H is to set a content of society in bail decision making. Yoshua invited to Narimoko to take those two paragraphs into consideration when making a ruling on this matter. The case in point is of personal nature. And there are for public interest and the rights of the complainant must be taken into consideration as well. Also under Article 23, sub-Article 5A of the Constitution, Section 77.1 of the Magistrates Court Act, and Paragraph 6 of the Bail Guidelines, they worship. An applicant, or rather an accused person, has a right to apply for bail. But the discretion to grant bail viewership or deny it lies in the court here in the application. It's therefore not obvious that every application must be allowed. Therefore, our prayer your worship that one, this application is dismissed and then is denied for the reason that verse above. However, since bail is grant thereof in the discretion of court, the main alternative prayer is that the cash bail be imposed the event that what is really 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 inclined to run in the bank. 
We also pray that as one of the conditions for bail, your worship, the applicant is directed to refrain from commenting on this matter on social media because it's the subject of the case. So it's our prayer that uh, continued discussion of this matter on his media handles is an automatic collapse of his faith in the event that God grants faith. The last, your worship, we, we pray that in the event that court is inclined to grant bail, one of the conditions set for the bail, the applicant, yes, your worship, be refrained from commenting on this matter on his media handles because this is the subject of this case.
to hear about something new. I cannot go on a fishing expedition to even ask things which are not within my reach. If it was within my reach, I would have found spots about them, and we are blessed to make we order them to bring the spots. But he is not such a pure. Let us wait for his spots in the joiner, then we see what So come that day, we give respect to Mr. Donald. Yes, embera bwe tyo bwe badde wano ku koti a uh, chibedi cox ronadi uh, nga komezedwa okusaba bera nebyo namo biwulide a uh, police tutor omuwabi wa government awakanyiza bale tebo okumwayimirira uh, aba bale tebo okumwayimirirwa anti tebali substanso e, ne chibedi nga jali jasula apanga sabu panga sataina ayo wadomo kazi no mwana kijja kuba berera kizibu Ah, chibedi ya gezeza ako okwe uoleleza ba ya chusiza ya gobi ya roya we na aleta roya omulala na roya omulala asabi obude ah, basa uro kudamu kutunula monsonga ze ezo ah, suburo kwe kenenya fairo kubango uri ya mugobi ono mpia umpia asabi obude so umusangu bagu ongedeyo mpaka angena kuzo mwezi abili mkaga omwezi guno umusangu kufumundu na ugufu nani buwa chibedi kuchobola mchala bachala kubavuma ya vuma arebeka agaba e, ni mama we e, kubawe mula na bachobola mubantu we musango guli wo obade kumapumili ya tv tuja kwe yongera hakume